Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Success. It's defined as the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Its synonyms are achievement, accomplishment, victory, attainment, glory, feat, masterstroke, acquisition, acquirement, and win. But what does it mean to you personally? How do you define success? If your life was a book, I wonder which chapters or pages would you mark and say were successful moments. I also wonder where would you mark moments of what you consider failure? Many say failure or defeat is the opposite of success. I say failure is part of success because I believe success is directly connected to purpose. Purpose to me is your unique calling or contribution to the world. It's doing or being what only you can do or be. Purpose is why you were born and why you are here on planet Earth. Since no two people are alike, everyone has purpose, and therefore everyone can be successful in and at life. When you have fulfilled your purpose on earth, or you've done the thing you were put here to do, that, in my opinion, is when you have achieved success. Mark Twain is quoted as saying, The two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you find out why. That the why is your purpose or destiny. There are several Bible scriptures that talk about predestination or God creating us with a plan and a purpose for our lives. The problem is most of us aren't born with clear answers to our purpose for being on earth. So we sort of stumble into purpose or discover it along the way. That means we will make many mistakes on the journey to finding our purpose and we will experience many failures. Thus, failure is part of, not the opposite of success. The social media and entertainment culture will have you thinking that success is perfection. It's having all of your T's crossed and your I's dotted. It's a filtered image. It's an edited life. You will believe that you have achieved success when you have a certain amount of money in the bank or a certain number of followers, when you look a certain way, when you wear certain clothes or styles, drive a certain type of car or live in a certain house, zip code or neighborhood, have certain titles, awards, accolades or degrees. I say uh, success is none of that, none of those things. You know why? Because they are all external, so they can change or be taken away, and you can't take them with you to your grave. There's a saying that you will never see a U-Haul hitch to a hearst. There's a scripture that says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Now, you may need some of those external things mentioned to fulfill your purpose, but let them be part of your purpose, not the end goal to success. Now, based on the definition of success I'm presenting today, which is mostly internal, I believe you have achieved success when you have alignment in your life. If you have ever visited a chiropractor like I do on a regular basis, you know the importance of your body being in alignment. Because being out of alignment causes all sorts of problems, you know, pain, uh, sickness, and, you know, general discomfort. Your body doesn't work to its fullest capacity when it's out of alignment. The same thing is true of purpose. When your values, your motives, your intentions, your words, and your actions don't align with your purpose, you you aren't able to maximize your potential, to reach your destiny, and to fulfill your purpose. So when alignment happens, it clears the path for you to make your unique impact on the world. Which brings me to another point I want to make. If you were born with a purpose and success in life is finding and fulfilling that purpose, that means your life's work is finding your reason for being here, your purpose, and figuring out how to go about doing it to the best of your ability. That is an an internal thing that's unique to you. It's unique to your personality. It's unique to your talents. It's unique to your gifts. And those things, again, cannot be taken away from you. It is also the seed you plant on earth. 
that will produce a harvest of a lasting legacy when you're gone. There's a saying that nobody gets out of this thing called life alive. alive. So you want to make sure that your life mattered while you were here. I encourage you to not just take up space and don't spend all of your time trying to acquire things or or you know, trying to look successful to other people who really won't matter when you're reflecting on your life at the end of your life. Do something that will bring personal fulfillment and satisfaction and a lasting legacy that will make the world a better place because you were here. Make your mark, find out why you're here, then do the work to fulfill your purpose. So when you die, you can know that you gave this thing called life your best shot and you helped somebody along the way. You didn't just acquire things and attention and accolades. You actually made a difference, a lasting difference. I'm thinking of the lyrics to uh, Prince's song, Let's Go Crazy. Uh, and, and it is, Dearly Beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. I say enjoy your life, but remember you were given life because you have a purpose. Fulfill that thing you were he put here to do, and you will have achieved a type of success that will leave an imprint far beyond your lifetime. I hope this episode has encouraged you to think more or deeper about what success means to you and how it relates to your specific uh, purpose in and for life. Over the next few episodes, I'm going to do some special segments, uh, switch things up a little bit, and I'm going to interview various people who have made major changes in their lives. I'm going to ask those people to define success for themselves, and I'm looking forward to hearing their perspectives on personal success. I hope that you'll tune in to hear those upcoming discussions as well. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.